it's Solana and welcome back to my channel for another video. Now today is going to be super fun because I've got two lessons, well three lessons technically but you're not going to see one of them. Um, two lessons with Jensen and Star. One lesson with Ella but mum is currently at work so she's going to miss videoing that so um, we'll only be videoing Star and Jensen. Um, to be fair, you guys saw Ella's lesson last video so you're all good it's more of the same <laughs> but yes jensen and star tomorrow will be going head to head in the elementaries a proper face off for the boys so today i am having lessons with jill liggins we're gonna see how they get on just get a feel for them and basically with us heading off the sheet gate soon i am trying to make that decision as to which horse gets the place of honor next to ella coming to sheet gate under 25 national championships with me so we're just going to see how it goes. I'm going to ride them up tonight in the lessons, maybe if the tests are go. At the end of the day, the tests are tomorrow, so we're not going to make much of a difference tonight. Um, but it'd be really good and it'd be really nice to see what Jill thinks. So first of all, let's get Ella tacked up, get her lesson, then I'll let you know how it went after her lesson. And then it's time to get Jensen ready. Okay, so I've just finished my lesson with Ella. She was literally such a good girl. She's starting to feel like really rideable now, if you get what I mean. And we finally start to get rid of that on the neck muscle. Woohoo! So next up is Jensen and I've got to do the fastest wardrobe change in the world and get him ready! Okay, so for Jensen's lesson we started off doing a little bit of pole work. Now, we worked with my Pulley Jump Star Cavaletti and doing the pole work in the walk is really good for getting a horse to use their abs and really lift up. And Jensen, being an eventer, show jumper, jack of all trades, was actually much better at this than Ella was. Because if you'd have seen Ella going over it, you would have seen the pulse flying in every direction because she has no respect for pole work, apparently. <laughs> But Jensen was really good. As you can see, he's nicely picking up his feet, using his abs and getting him to use his back to step over. The thing is about doing trot work over the poles is because they can use kind of the trot to be able to bounce over it rather than actually using themselves to make their way over the poles. So that's why doing it in walk can really help strengthen your horse. So one of my main things with Jensen is getting him to become a little less tense, a bit more relaxed and just getting him moving quite nicely. So in this camp you can see he's very up for it, he did start today off quite fresh I will admit. So what Jill is having us doing is leg yielding to the side and that's getting him to use that inside hop and getting him to really pick up and use himself much more. And by doing the leg yields it's suppling him and making sure that he's listening to me, listening to my aids. And as we go on, this does get better and better because obviously it's still the warm up. He did decide that corner down there was quite frightening. So don't judge me when we go down that log side. So that's just leg yielding across again. Leg yielding in the canter and the trot and the walk. It's all really good. And Jensen is one of those horses much like Ella. He prefers to warm up in the canter, whereas Star would prefer to warm up in the trot. So it all depends on what horse you have and what they feel like doing. I tend to go with whatever the horse is happiest with. So for example, if I started off doing trot with Jensen all he'd want to do was canter so until he's had a canter he's not happy so I've just done a little loop there and that's really good for getting them to bend around your outside leg as well and getting them to switch between the bends using their whole body you can't just focus on the neck bend you have to make sure that they pop their rib cages in and out as well because that gets them to use their whole body completely and really well So coming into the trot work now, you see us doing the similar exercise once again, so a leg yielding out to the track. And it's good that you start off leg yielding from your inside leg. There is sometimes a temptation to leg yield from your outside leg, from the um, track into the middle, and that's good for working later on. But in the warm up, Jill has us tend to just leg yield to the outside, and that's because you want them really listening to that inside leg and bent round it, just as you're starting. Whereas if you start off going from the right, from the outside leg, then you can get the horse listening to the outside a little bit too much just to start off with that's something to work on later in the lesson that's also dependent on how advanced your horse is as well i mean if you've got one of those horses that's ready to rock and roll you don't have to worry about that but jensen's feeling really nice and it's just all about getting him to relax and getting him to just supple up a little bit so now we're going into a shoulder in and then you'll see in a second we've got to straighten over the middle and then we ask for shoulder in again and this is a really good test to see if they're listening and also another really good suckling exercise because it's quite easy to go into shoulder in than just stay in it for ages whereas coming in and out of it is that different keep on asking and it's really good to get the horses listening and getting them to use their bodies
Jensen is also looking very filthy here, but I promise you, this horse had three baths before his competition tomorrow. We were not staying like that. <laughs> now this was good for getting a feel for him, making sure he's relaxed and everything, and we don't want to do too much for tomorrow. So before long, it was on to Star's lesson. And Star is such a good boy. Look how shiny he is without even a bath. Jensen could tell. So we're starting off with Star in much the same way, coming into those shoulder ins straight off the bat and just getting him to bend in and out. Now Star isn't as established as Jensen, because as you can see his frame's a lot longer, and Star's a lot younger, and whereas Jensen has been there and done that, Star absolutely hasn't. So this elementary is going to be the hardest test that he has ever done. So it's all about relaxing, and I kind of just want to pootle around this elementary and make sure he's the happiest he can be. So we're using that same technique again, shoulder in, then going straight, then asking for that shoulder in again. And that's getting Star to really listen to me, especially as sometimes he can be a little bit more dead to the leg than Jensen and Ella are, because they're both very reactive horses. And it's just making sure that he is ready and up for it and he knows that he's going to be using himself. And Star is naturally built downhill as well. The poor boy's been bum high since he was three, but bless him, he's doing well. So getting him to do the shoulder in is making sure that his hind end stepping in underneath him and already telling him, look, we, we need to use our muscles today and we need to start stepping under and being uphill. So it's really good. I've also got him in a much more open frame because he's just starting off. Um, a bit more loose than Jensen is, whereas Jensen likes to start off in a firm contact. Another good exercise that Jill had us doing that you can try with your horse is also doing traverse. So that's when you get the quarters in, then you go straight, and then you go quarters in again. And we've also got a lovely leg heel to from Star here, and that's really making sure that that new inside hind is stepping underneath and through. And then we're going straight from that leg yield into, I wouldn't call it a shoulder in, more of a shoulder form. That's where there's much less angle than shoulder in requires. And doing the bendy stuff is actually really good for them because it means that you're not just trotting around in endless circles. And when your horse is ready to take that step, this is a really good way to make sure that they're all supple and ready to rock and roll, especially by doing it in your warm up. Now one thing I've been trying really hard to work on with Star because I know it's a fault and I'm not going to cover it up with you guys is trying to make sure that my hands stay a bit stiller on him. Star is definitely a horse where I tend to get a bit too involved with the reins especially compared to how I ride the other horses so it's really important to me that I work on that because I know that is something that I do not do very well so Jill was brilliant for telling me to just stop doing that because it comes a certain point where it becomes muscle memory and so it's something I really do need to focus on. So you see he's coming above the bit here a little bit, which is fine in a warm up, but my left hand, that inside hind hand starts going a little bit nutso. So what Jill had me doing was bending him to the outside a little bit because it is your outside hand that actually asks for um, a, more of an outline rather than your inside hand. And whilst that was really good for getting him to come into a nice frame, it did mean his quarters swung in a little bit. But as he gets stronger, he'll be able to support himself more. Because what we have to remember with Star is that he's had the best part of four months off and is actually very, very weak. So this is a big ass this weekend, which is why I just want to have fun doing it. I'm not even bothered about the scores. So once we've warmed up, I decided to give one of the tests a go. And this was actually really good for just picking out what points would be an issue. And we did go through the test on Jensen as well, but I'm not going to show you them because you don't need to see every test under the sun when you're going to see them tomorrow. Um, and this was actually really good because whilst we can do all of the movements in isolation, quite often where riders stumble and fall when it comes to doing a test is actually putting the movements together and going from one movement to another. And Star having not done an elementary before will actually find this quite difficult because the movements come up so thick and fast, you've not got time to kind of settle between each movement and rearrange yourself. You've got to be ready to go into that next movement and that comes thicker and faster the higher up the levels you climb.
So this is a half ten to another half ten, changing the rain, and Jill was actually hilarious. She told me this looked drunk, and to be fair, that was not very straight whatsoever. But we shall just have to see tomorrow whether we get our act together. So another place where it's easy to lose marks is this medium candy here and as you can see his quarters are swinging in and this is something that um, you can definitely watch in your own test and the sort of thing that you can tidy up and that will get you just a few extra marks for your accuracy and making sure that everything that you do is really really nice. Um, start is obviously green to the level he started late and he's at four months off so I'm not expecting big things from him but it's little things like that that you can tidy up that will help make sure that you make up the extra marks when you know you're going to lose them elsewhere. So this bit, the simple changes, is where I know we'll definitely lose marks because he's not got the sit behind to be able to sit down into that transition and get into the walk. So I've accepted the fact we're going to get a few jog sets, but I'd rather he did that nice and happily than me really struggle and fight for that transition when I know he's not ready. So that's the sort of thing where I've accepted it and I know that I can make up marks in other places that will hopefully make us not have a devastating score. <laughs> So another bit I was a little bit worried about was you've got to counter onto the centre line and then trot once you're on it and I was like oh he's going to stumble into trot but did you see how nice that was? I was like okay star you go king. <laughs> So that was the end of the two lessons and it was so good to go with Jill, go through with Jill the two different tests but now it's on to tack cleaning and as you can tell by the house being an absolute shambles you can tell I'm competing two horses in one day because there's bits of tack I don't I'm not even sure if I put these bridles back together correctly but we'll see okay guys it is the morning of in true fashion I am running late oh Jensen I didn't think you had poo stains <sighs> Never mind, it's fine, we're all good. We carry on plathing because at this point we need to get moving. Um, I'm on at 10, it is currently 20 to 9, and I haven't plathed Star or Jensen yet. Let's start moving. Right, that is J Dog done. Not my finest work, but is it ever? <laughs> what's going on there? Oh well, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening with that one. But yes, time for Star now, let's go. It's currently 9.04. Time to get this boy flattened up and then get on. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Right, currently 9.18, 40, 42 minutes before we are in the arena. So let's get it stacked up. So the main aim of the game today with Star is just to have a really, really nice time. This is the big face off between Star and Jensen. And I'm really excited to see how the pair of them are doing. At the mini, I probably think Jensen is going to do better just because he is stronger than Star. But I think Star is going to get there 100%. So in the warm-up, I'm trying to recreate what Jill is having us do. So I'm keeping him on a slightly longer rein, having that um, frame that he's in being nice and open, especially to start with, and just getting him moving around. I want him nice and relaxed, and I want him to come out of that test with a smile on his face, because I know it's going to be difficult for him. I know he's not quite ready, so I just want him to have a good time. So starting off the leg yields, of course, going into the little bit of shoulder four, and just chilling out. So I'm really focusing on here on making sure that my hands aren't moving too much and to touch wood I think I'm actually doing not too bad of a job they're still moving more than I would like them to be and more than they do on my other horses but it's not something that's going to happen overnight and that is my like big struggle and big thing at the minute that I want to get sorted with me but start is moving really nice really free and open and I'm really pleased with how he's going so now I'm just going across the diagonal I'm going to do a little bit of counter canter and this is just to help him really get over his back and use his frame a bit more nicely and step under and it's a real test of balance for him in a really good way in the warm-up just to get them really moving because they've got to move they've got to really use themselves in that counter canter because you know what it is a bit of a difficult thing to do especially with horses as green as star is and um, he's taking to it really well he's been a good lad I think he looks excellent right now looking back at these videos I do also want to make a clip, whilst I want to really make sure Star is chilled out and he's having a cracking time, let me tell you, I am not chilled out whatsoever in this one. In my head, there is just constant screaming, but I feel like that's a pretty normal thing for a rider to do. But we're all having a good time, I promise. But before long, it's time for our first test. I decided to start Star off easy, 
ease them into it we're going in strong with the novice and we're doing novice five today new test for us because obviously this is my first time trying out all the new tests bd have come out with but for our entering working trot proceed down the center line without halting we did score a seven and this could have been even better had he had a little more balance that is something to watch for the future perhaps a few more half halts from me and that will make things good so next up was the circle left 50 meters diameter and that scored a seven and that just needed even more suppleness the judge thought and um, i can achieve that by making sure he's really round my inside leg so that is also something to work on and next we've got the change the rain and over l transition to walk one horse's length and proceed immediately in working trot and we scored a seven for this because we felt that there could be more fluency in the transi transition then for our transition to work in canter, we did score a seven, and this could have been better if he'd just been a touch more uphill, but that's where his lack of strength comes into play and us doing more work at home will come into it. Then for our circle right, 20 meters diameter, we scored a 7.5. What a good boy. And I absolutely love his rhythm in this. He's going absolutely super. I'm so proud of him. Then at S, we've got a half circle right, 15 meters diameter, returning to the track at B. And this is something that I thought he would struggle with, but we scored a seven for that. And that's something we worked on in the lesson last night. So I'm really happy that came through in the test. Could have been more uphill, but so could lots of things. Then for a counter counter, we scored a 6.5 just because the judge wanted to see a bit more balance. But that is something that I expected from us because I knew that he just needed to be a bit more balanced. Then we've got change the rain and show some medium trot strides, which we scored a 6-4, and that's because we need a more ground cover. But his medium trots are a work in progress, so I'm really, really happy with that. Then we've just got some working trot, which we scored a 7-4. And next up, we've got the circle right 50 meters diameter. And this we scored a 7-4, and that was because he was a little bit on the inside shoulder. So that's where really making sure that he's stepping through on that inside hind leg really comes into play to make sure that he's not falling in too much. And we could have scored even higher, so that's really, really good to see. Then we've got change the rain over L transition to walk one horse's length and immediately proceed in working trot. We scored a 6.5 for this and we scored that well because it was nicely fluent. But once again, he probably could have done with a, a little bit more uphill and a little bit more strength. Then for our transition to working cans, we scored a 6.5. That's because we just lost a little bit of connection in that. Um, and I think that was probably because I just pushed for it a bit more rather than letting him step nicely through into it. Then for our circle right 20 meters diameter, we scored a seven, which I was really happy to see. No judge comment on that. So I'm just gonna assume it was amazing, of course. <laughs> then we've got a half circle left 50 meters diameter, return to the track at P, which we scored a seven four again. This was really good because I was using the outside reins, the inside leg, and it was going really, really nicely. Then we've got our counter canter, which we actually scored a seven four. So I was really happy with that. And then transition to working trot we scored a seven and we could have scored higher had we had a little more balance to that trot so really really happy with that our medium trot scored a six and that's because they wanted a clearer difference and more ground cover so that's where before the medium trot and after the medium trot i should really really bring him back a little bit more just to show that stark difference then we've got a transition to medium walk and then the medium walk which we scored a 7.54 and considering this isn't even his best medium walk like this boy has an amazing walk hidden within him like i've seen it a few times in training i'm really really happy with that 7.5 then change the rain free walk along way we scored a 7.54 good walk sets but we needed more stretch so have we had more stretch it could have been a night you never know um but really really happy with that especially as the walk is the times two movement so that's two times 7.5 really happy and then for his medium walk he scored an eight which i am so so pleased to see he's he's come back so well okay and then for transition to working trot we scored a seven because that was a nice little transition then turn down the center line and then halt immobility salute which we scored a seven for and that was pretty good considering the judges put not quite straight in the halt. <laughs> so for our collectors, we scored a 7.5 for his paces, a 7 for impulsion, a 7 for cooperation, and a 7.5 for the rider's position and seat. All really nice to see. And she put a super horse with a good walk, nice partnership, develop a little more balance and suppleness with push from the hinds for further ease. Right then, guys. So that is Novice 5 done. 
Star was honestly such a good boy. We did a really nice sweet test. Um, I've been focusing loads, just saw a magpie. I've been focusing loads on trying to keep my hands still on Star because I can sometimes just get a bit too involved. And I'm quite happy because I feel like I managed to keep them nice and still. Okay. Um, and yeah, no, he did a lovely little sweet test. The only way, uh, the only place where I really think we threw away some marks was the free walk because he has got the biggest, sexiest walk on the planet and I just didn't show it off as I should have. Um, and the meaning shots didn't really happen, but I wasn't expecting them to. Um, so next up is elementary five. So I'm going to learn it a little bit on my phone. And yeah, he's been a good lad, bless him. He's so sweet. <laughs> So for the elementary, especially with Star, I have no grand plans of us scoring brilliantly and like doing really well. Because at the end of the day, Star's had the best part, of, we actually added it up, the best part of four months off, because unfortunately he did get a bit of an infected foot. And do you know what? He is just not strong enough yet. So today is all about having a bit of a play, having a bit of a poodle around it. I'm not bothered about the score whatsoever today. Today is um, turning into just a bit of a fun day when my boy's going head to head and um, we're just having a good time. I'll be happy if he just goes around with a smile on his face because that's all I want. Because it, it is the most difficult test he's ever done because he's never done elementary before. And um, I just want him to relax and chill into it. Um, that's the main thing. So yeah, I'm going to try and make up the scores where I can with accuracy, but I'm just here for a good time. So um, no, I've been really proud of him in the novice. He was super duper sweet. A few things that I can work on. And uh, yeah, we're just going to see how this elementary goes. It might go terribly wrong. It might go really well. Who knows? <laughs> So after giving him a bit of a walk and a stretch between tests, because we did have a little bit of time, I picked him up about 15 minutes before we went in because I don't want to make him overtired because obviously he's not very fit and I don't want to stretch him too thin. So this is me just practicing the simple changes before we go in just to see if we can um, polish it up wherever. But to be honest, they are what they are. I mean, that one could have had a little bit more sit. So when I thought about it a little bit more and used what Jill had taught me the night before, it went much better. So this is me just going for it again. So I'm just circling him now, making sure that I've really got him on my aids. Because whilst we can't do a perfect form, we can get there somewhat. So this is me just asking for it now, making sure I'm using my core to really hold him back. And look how good that was. Now I'm not expecting it to be as good as that in the test at all, but it's nice to know that we've got it in the warm up. So making sure that I'm really using my core to sit him back, set him up for it, and give him the best possible chance to be able to do that simple change is a big aim for me. Oh, and then he spooked. Said terrifying person was actually my friend Darcy, who was just coming into the arena. Star decided she was terrifying, but I promised him she was absolutely lovely. It was so nice to see her, but before long, it was time to head into the arena for Star and Jensen's big showdown, battling out for their Sheep Gate place. Let's go. So for Star's big elementary debut, we started off strong with a seven for our entry and our halt. Now we could have scored even more, but we got fair entry, but they wanted more balance. So we're seeing a bit of a theme here, guys. Although I think that halt was quite cute. So next up, we've got change the rain in medium trot. And I already know this is not gonna be his strong point. If you watch in the corner here, I really slow down that trot because I wanna show as clear a difference as possible. So for our medium trot, we scored a 6.5 because there was some difference but they wanted more ground cover and that's something that is going to come as he gets stronger as i've already said but then you can see in the corner there i've brought him back once again so i'm making sure that we're showing that difference then we've got a leg yield right which we scored a 6.54 and that's because it could have been more parallel but i am cheating a little bit because i pointed him towards the marker and then asked him to move over rather than moving him over straight from the center line then for our circle left 10 meters diameter, we scored a 7-4, which I was really pleased with because he's got a lovely little rhythm. Then we go straight into the shoulder in left, which we scored a 6.5 because there's too much neck bend. Because once again, that left hand is terrible and I do tend to ask for too much left bend on the left rein. Then we've got a half circle left 10 meters diameter, half circle right. And remember, this was the one that was drunk in the uh, lesson yesterday. So I was trying my best to make sure that was straight in the middle and it was but the judge wanted a clearer change of bend. So that is something I'm gonna to have to watch and work on. 
Then we've got change the rain in medium shot, which we scored a 6 for, and that's because the steps were becoming a little unlevel. And that's because I asked for too much from him before he's ready, so I pushed him into a run rather than accepting what he can give. So that's the dangers of asking too much. Then we've got our leg yield left which he's got a 6.54 and we could have had a more secure connection. That's because I'm just starting to lose him over his back a little bit. But for our circle right 10 metres diameter, it didn't happen because Alana forgot the test. So mum started videoing again <laughs> and we came back round to the middle marker. Um, I think I got just so focused on trying to make sure that I rode every movement really well that I forgot about the movement. But scoring a 7.4 it's not bad, especially after Alana went... Um, MIA, if you if you want to say it like that. But then we've got our shoulder in right, which we scored a 6.54, and once again that's because I'm just losing him a little bit, and we could have had a more settled connection. Then we've got our transition to medium walk, which we scored a 7.4, which is really, really good. And then next up, we've got the change the rain in extended walk, and I wanted to really show how nice and sexy his walk is, and do you know what, I'm still not showing it off to his full potential he can do so much better than that i just need to work on bringing it out of him but we did score an eight for that because he had really good steps so go star boy and then we've got to change the rain again going back across in medium walk and we scored a seven for this and that's because it could have been a little more secure in the connection and i was just struggling to bring him back into that frame again but once i left him alone and stopped asking him to come back shorter he was much better and then um, i lost his concentration to the field a little bit so this transition to collected canter did score a six and that's because the judge wanted it a little more direct and whilst they've been going a little bit better in training i didn't expect it to be perfect in the test let's be honest so then for our medium canter we did score a 6.5 which is quite good because i wasn't too brave with it because i wasn't sure if i was going to get him back at the end of it um, and the judge wanted more ground cover so i'm quite happy to take that to be fair and then the circle right 50 meters down to scored a seven which i was really pleased with and it, she just wanted him a little bit more uphill and balanced so that is definitely something we'll work on as he gets stronger then for a half circle right simple change half circle left we scored a five because he trotted down and she wanted a little more work sh walk shown which is completely fair and i knew that was going to be a big thing that we probably weren't going to be able to do beautifully today so was, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that then our single loop five meters away from the track scored a 6.5 that's because we wanted a little more balance on the loop and to be fair i did kind of just shove him around it rather than really set him up for it so that one is on me then for our medium counter we scored a 6.5 and that's because there could have been a clearer transition in and back so that's where in the trot was slowing him down before and slowing him down afterwards i needed more of that in the canter and as he gets stronger he'll be able to get that sit before and after as well for our circle left 50 meters down to we scored a 7.4 again which is really really good because it's something we worked on in our lessons yesterday and it was nice to see that coming through and translating into the test today and then for our simple change we actually scored a 6.5 so it was better than the other one woohoo and that's because she wanted more balance coming down and she wanted more of a four beat canter coming out so i actually collected him a little bit too much coming out then for our loop five meters away from the track we scored a 6.5 for that and that once again is just because we wanted more balance so we've definitely got a theme here and plenty to work on and then for our collected counter turn down the center line we did score a six for that just because star threw his head a little bit coming down which was a shame because yesterday he did it so beautifully but for our transition to collected trot we scored a seven and for our whole immobility salute we did originally score a seven and then got a six <laughs> so oh well but that was because it was not quite straight or square <laughs> but we're getting there Okay, so that's the elementary. Um, <laughs> Pat the pony smacked the rider. Jesus wept. I can't believe I forgot the 10 meter circle after hammering them yesterday. Um, but oh well, do you know what? The second simple change actually felt really nice. Um, I don't think it's gonna score incredibly, but he was such a good lad. He really, really tried, bless him. I'm really happy with him. Of course it wasn't perfect. And quite frankly, I wasn't expecting it to be, but I'm just really happy that he rolled up his sleeves and went, okay, mum, I can figure out. I actually feel a little bit emotional, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, really, Alana, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but um, no, I'm actually really, really proud of him. He's been such a good boy. Bless him, he's only, ever, he's only done one competition this year. It's the only time he's been in test conditions and we whacked him out straight at elementary. 
he is one good, good boy. I'm really, really proud of him. So we'll walk him off for a minute and then it's J-Dog's time and it's time for the face off and see which boy is coming with me to Sheet Gate of the 25s to do the elementaries. <laughs> Right, I've had a little drink because obviously I can't stomach food when I'm competing because I get so nervous. But i um, taking off my jacket because it is hot today, but the hat is looking good. We've got to change a jacket for J-Dog. So now it is time to go get Jensen ready. Got about 40 minutes, but he had a lesson yesterday, so I don't want to hammer him in the warm up. Hopefully he'll be a bit more chill <laughs> for today. But uh, yeah, so let's get going. So just like I did with Star, with Jensen, I want to make sure that I'm really employing what we did yesterday with Jill in our lessons. And with him, I definitely want to make sure he's nice and relaxed. Although I have to say, in this warm-up today, he certainly felt like he knew something was occurring. He tends to be a little bit more well-behaved when he knows something's going on. Otherwise, Jensen makes his own entertainment, you see. But I'm just walking along here, making sure he's nicely moving and I'm just asking for the leg yields, just like Jill was having us do yesterday. So I just want to make sure he's stepping nice and through and swinging through his whole body and generally just chilling out. So we're going into the shoulder full here and just making sure he's bent around my inside leg. And all in all, he's feeling really, really nice. So then stepping up into the canter, you can see I'm sitting really deep into the seat and trying to use my chest because Jensen seems to respond better if I ride in like quote unquote a show jumper um, and that's just how he likes to be ridden. So when I'm asking for those leg heels there, you see I'm really, really using my seat and my chest to try and ride with him today and he is feeling amazing. He genuinely feels so good and just giving the rein there just to make sure that he's not hanging on my hands which he very clearly is not. He was quite happy about that and just moving him around the entire school and getting him to go, bend in different directions. So we're doing a little bit shoulder four in the canter there and then moving him down into the trot more of the same again. So the thing I have to watch with Jensen really, especially as the day goes on and he starts to get a bit more tired, is that he's not going a bit overbent because then he starts relying on me to hold him up rather than holding himself up, which does make sense. So I just need to make sure I keep giving those upwards half halts and making sure that he doesn't get his chest, his chin too buried in his chest because that doesn't create a pretty fissure and it's not what we want at all because then he's not move, using himself correctly. So we don't want that pole to drop too low. So I've just warmed up Jensen, I'm not kidding yet, he's feeling pretty banging. Like, okay, he did not come out to play, you know what I'm saying? Um, so he's definitely won it in the warm up. <laughs> um, so it's just, we'll see what happens in the test. Um, but do you know what? I haven't actually done a pure dressage test in him for yonks. So um, I've kind of thrown him in the deep end, but I look forward to seeing how, how he's going. And today is a day just about enjoying it and having a good time. Yes, Star and Jensen are going head to head and Star probably would have done better if I had not forgot the test. I might get the test in this one, so I'll just even out. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh Jesus, a lot of don't do that. But anyway, so we're just going to have a good time. Looking forward to going into elementary four now and I'm just checking the test to make sure I know it. So test breakdown time for our entry and our halt. We actually scored a seven, which is really good because we had a fair entry. And that was nice to see as well because first impressions are really important. If you start your test up well, it sets you up well for the rest of the test. Then next up, we've got to change the rain in the medium trot. And we actually scored a 6.5 for this, which I was a bit disappointed about because I thought his medium trot was his party piece. But watching this back, I can clearly see why. And that's because his hocks were out more and we needed more ground cover. And that's because I'm not setting back enough for this and I've not gotten him pushing from behind enough for his medium trot. And he's kind of running along with his flicky toes rather than sitting back and up and pushing out through it. 
So then we've got a turn down the centre line legal right to R, which we scored a 7 for. Really, really happy with that because that was a big thing we worked on in our lesson yesterday because he was having a bit of trouble changing that bend. So it was nice to see that we scored well for that today. Then we've got a circle left 10 metres diameter with a 6.5 and that's because the circle was a little bit small. So that's where my lack of accuracy has lost us marks. So it's so easy to lose marks when the rider doesn't do anything very well. So then we've got the trot walk trot which we scored a 6.5 for and that's because they wanted more fluency in the walk and then we scored a 6 for that counter transition any guesses for why <laughs> jensen thought those judges were very scary okay so then we've got the circle left 10 meters diameter which we scored a 6 for and then our medium counter which we scored a 7.54 and we could have scored more if we got a clearer transition in and out and i know that's going to be really really good marker for him because with him being an inventor, that medium count is going to be big when we get it going properly. So then we've got the half circle left 10 meters diameter into counter counter. And we've got a 7.5 for that because it was nicely balanced. That's where his education and his strength is really shining through. And then the transition to collected trot, we scored a 7.4. And I was really pleased with that because that was a nice transition down. And the medium trot again we scored a 6.54 and that's because we needed more ground cover and you can see it very clearly from this angle that he's just not he's just a little bit downhill in it and going along with his nose on the floor so that's where i need to sit him up and back with those half halts beforehand then we've got a circle turn down the center line leg your left to s and we scored a 6.5 for that and that's because it was the same as star so i think this is definitely me that's causing the issues and it was because he could have been steadier in the head so if there's a common denominator it's me baby so then we've got the circle right 10 meters diameter which is called a seven four and just like i said before he's starting to drop his pole so i need to watch and keep his nose out so in the transition trot walk trot we scored a 7-4 really happy to see that and then the transition to collected canter we scored a 6-4 and that was my inaccuracy showing again because the transition was too early so then we've got the circle right 10 meters diameter six again because that actually counts into your transition to collected canter mark which is a shame because that was a nice circle and the medium canter 7.5 that's because she wants more in and out but i'm really happy with that because the coming back from the medium canter yesterday was also a big thing we worked on in the lessons so him coming back like he did was a massive improvement on yesterday so really pleased with that then we've got the counter counter and a half circle right which we scored a 4-4 because jensen said change and i said please don't um just a little miscommunication there and then at coming back into the trot we scored a four because we had a massive spook, well recovered, says the judge. And then obviously the halt and the rain back didn't score as well. So I let him step forward. And even though that rain back was nice, it does all count to one mark. So we only scored a five for that. And she said the halt, brief, step forwards and then fall backwards. So that was a shame. And then change the rain and extended walk. We scored six for this. And that's because she wanted a more supple stretch and over track. So that's why I really need to ask him more to swing through his back and do that big sexy walk I know that the eventer in him is capable of. So then after that, we've got the change of rain in the medium walk, which we scored a seven for. And I'm really, really happy with that. And I managed to keep him walking forward, which was really, really nice. And then coming from that medium walk across the short diagonal, you then got to turn onto the center line and stay in the walk till D, which he scored a seven for. So really, really happy with that. And then once you've got into trot, you then at the next marker go into medium trot. But unfortunately, we only scored a six for that, and that was because the medium faded. So that's where your clearer transitions in and out need to come in. So I wasn't as definite with that. But we scored a seven for our progressive transition to halt. So really, really pleased with that again. Okay, that is elementary four all done. He was actually really, really good. Um, we did find the judges a little bit scary. Um, so unfortunately, I think my halt and brain back, um, the scores will probably not be cracking. Um, but bless him, he felt really on side. And like when I was asking him to do stuff, he was like, yes, sir. And uh, do you know when your horse just feels like, 
rideable. Do you know what I mean? Like he was like, mm -hmm, no problem, babes. And he was just super up for it. He's been a really, really good boy. Um, definitely think he's a lot stronger than Star, but Star's a bit more honest. <laughs> um, but no, Jensen's been such a good boy, bless him. I'm uh, really, really pleased with him. And now it's time for Elementary 5, where him and Star truly are going head to head, uh, vying for that place of Sheepgate. So yeah, they're vying for this place at Sheepgate. Um, just to see which one is probably gonna have the best time there. Definitely think Jensen's fitter, but Star will probably enjoy it more, being the dressage horse that he is. So I'm putting them head to head in the elementary just to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to doing elementary five with him and uh, hopefully redeeming myself and remembering this one. But go. <laughs> So this is just me warming him up for elementary five now. And as you can see, he is feeling absolutely mega. So we're just going into a simple change now. And that felt really, really good. Unfortunately, didn't pick up the correct lead coming out. So it's one of those things where you hope it all comes together in the test, if you get what I'm saying. Now guys, I would absolutely adore to show you the elementary five, especially as it's where Star and Jensen went head to head. But unfortunately, someone failed to press the record button and didn't film the entire test aside from two seconds of the floor of the arena. Isn't that right, Mum? I'm sorry. It was sunny. I couldn't see you, okay? There are no excuses as my videographer. Honestly, we shall have to sack her. That's it. But oh well, he looked so pretty going in and he felt really nice. And to be fair, guys, the test felt really, really good. Okay, so that was elementary five. Unfortunately, we don't have that on video. Um, it is very, very sunny. A mum thought she pressed the button to video it and uh, she didn't. But regardless, he was actually really good. Although there was one heart stopping moment. He basically, I heard it, he caught his shoe on a 10 meter circle and suddenly he went really lame. And like, I was panicking. Cause I was like, oh my God, do I stop? Do I wait for them to stop? And then luckily by the end of the 10 meter circle, cause it was like halfway around it, he was fine again. So I think he just gave himself a little knock. So that was a heart stopping moment. Um, and uh, despite the fact I trotted him past the judges box three times before we started the test, Jensen, once we were in the test, was like, oh my God, that's how scary. Um, so yeah, he's a little bugger, but he is, he was such a good boy because all the bits in between felt really, really nice. And I mean, like the comeback from the canter, I mean, I actually half halted that march to get the simple change. The um, man's pulled out a halt. <laughs> And I was like, please walk, please walk. So it'll be interesting to see the scores. Um, very, very interesting. But he was a really good boy. To say that he's not used to doing this sort of thing anymore, he proper pulled it out of the bag and was like, up for it. He rolled up his sleeves and said, okay, why not? So uh, no, really, really pleased with him. So now he gets to go out in the field whilst we wait for the scores. So in the Jensen versus Star showdown, going head to head in the elementary for the coveted place next to Ella, going to Sheikh Eight Under Twenty Five Championships. The results are in, and it looks like Star will be coming to Sheikh Gate because I must say he outdid himself today. Jensen was brilliant, but I was a bit inaccurate with him, and he was a little bit spooky. But Jensen did me very proud still, 264% in an elementary, which is the highest level test that I've ever done with Jensen. Plus, I haven't competed Jensen in pure dressage in forever, but Star was such a good boy, 70% in the novice, and then 66% in the elementary. So not only that, but he beat Jensen. <laughs> So both boys were absolutely excellent. I've had a really good time competing the pair of them. And you know, it's a difficult decision to say which boys come in with us cheat gate because the pair of them did so, so well. But the minute Star looks like he is coming with us and he's gonna have such a good time. And if not, Jensen could come be a 
special kid at Shift Gate instead. So that is all from me today. I super hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is going to be uploaded. And for me and all the boys, and a very nice day at the office, it is goodbye.